I was the visual effects supervisor for the whole film, but I was also the director for the first person shooter. So that sequence was a special unit. We called it the FPS unit. The first person shooter unit shot for about 14 days. Um, we had a, a, a planning period of about three months for that. Bang, 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 down. It's just a plain, exciting kind of concept. It was a way to convey the heightened reality that was happening. So we used it as a plot device, but also as a pure enjoyment for gamers and for people who haven't been exposed to it. The first person shooter is a five and a half minute continuous shot. It's made up of creatures in suits, stunt players, explosions, bombs, live action shooting, real sets, completely computer generated environments, computer generated creatures, makeup creatures with computer generated heads, arms, everything. I mean, we pulled out the stops and put everything we possibly could into this specific sequence. It was very challenging. He should react to bang. Three, two, one, and bang. Everybody, he reacts and that goes at the same time. In the sequence of events, you have, in order of, of importance, the script, the storyboard, where you essentially board your key moments. Then from there, you have to create the animatic. Then the rehearsal, the video rehearsal, then you cut it together and then you have a, a dry run, and then you have an effects rehearsal, and then you shoot it. To get from one end of the facility to the other, you had to cut. You had to break for the end of the day and put it together. So that means you had to do something called hookups, which means you had to go out of one room and into another. And there are various ways you can do hookups. You can do it by moving a camera, and passing something and cutting, and then rolling the camera again on a subsequent day, put it right where it was before you cut, move right past it, and try to hook it up right between that move. That is the hardest thing you could possibly do, and we went for that kind of hookup. And it's true, we have hookups in this where you go through a room and of course the door opens, and when the door opens, we have a green screen or a blue screen. Cut, put the camera on the next day, in that room and continue your move. Another that's easy is essentially whip panning, you call it. You come off something and you whip real fast to something on the other side. And you essentially can jump cut or little cross dissolve right on the whip. Not, not hard to do. So we chose to sort of mix it up, but we have a lot of hookups where we're literally coming off a character very slowly and now we're in another day and you cannot see the scene. <laughs> One of the differences, uh, visual differences, in creating a game and creating a film is this thing called aspect ratio. And what it basically means is the ratio of the height of the screen to the width of the screen. And in a computer screen, uh, you have an aspect ratio that is more square. It's 4-3, four, 4 units wide by 3 units high. So. When you have that, you have a lot more latitude of bringing a gun into frame and seeing over the gun to the action in the distance. Then now translate that to a movie, and in particularly in this movie, it's widescreen to create that, that big vista of information. So now we've established a widescreen. In the game, you have a narrower peripheral view. So what happens is things can sneak up on you quicker in the game. Now you have widescreen. You have to be very careful. You hear something behind you, and it's harder to have something sneak up on you. We have narrow halls. So that's an issue of widescreen. The other thing is when you bring the gun up into frame, you eclipse the action because there's no room for the gun in that narrow height. So we had to make a decision that we brought the gun up when we needed it, we took it out when we didn't. We brought it up when we needed it out, we brought it off to the side, and we really played with the use of the gun. Sometimes we brought it up and looked through the eyepiece. We made a decision that in this case, we would use makeup effects to do the most difficult thing, and that is bodies and, and, and creatures, guys in suits that could hit the ground, that could tumble with other characters, that could fight and slug and interact. And in many cases, we took and put computer-generated heads on these creatures because you could take that further. Oftentimes in, in makeup effects, it's the head that is the most difficult to do. CG does that well. Oftentimes in CG, the bodies are the most difficult. So we put the two together in a lot of cases. 
first person shooter was designed and planned out to be a five and a half minute continuous take. The intention was to do the full thing, put it in, and then if there were any issues that arose out of too big a difference of style between the game and what is necessary to make a movie, then cuts would be placed within the first person shooter to hook it in. Obviously in the, in the DVD and in the bonus materials, we have the option of putting the full first person shooter in.